Hi, I'm Lane Leobrotten, and I work at Google on Open Social. We're looking forward to launching Open Social on Orkut, and I want to talk about some of the resources that we have for developers to build applications on Open Social. The first place you should go to get information about Open Social is our site on code.google.com. This site has lots of information about what Open Social is and how you can get started developing an application. This site has lots of information about Open Social, including an API reference, which lists all the JavaScript calls you can make from your application, as well as a specification, which will tell you a little bit about the API patterns you'll find when using the API. There are tutorials there, which will tell you how to write your first gadget, and also links to all the groups and other resources that I'm going to tell you about today. The second site that you'll want to check out is Orkut's site on code.google.com. Here you'll find lots of specific information about developing applications for Orkut. A great resource here is the Developer's Guide. Here you'll find lots of tips and tricks for developing applications just for Orkut. Another great place to get information is on the Open Social blog. Here we keep you up to date on the latest features and changes in the API, as well as information about what containers are doing. So when MySpace or Orkut goes live, this is where you'll find that information first. Once you start writing code, you'll probably have some questions. And a great place to go for answers is the Developers Forum. There's thousands of developers in here that are all writing applications, and they can help you with any questions you need to get started. There are two forums that you should look at if you're thinking about developing an open social application. The first is the Open Social Developers Forum. Here you can ask questions about the Open Social API and any changes or new features that come out. But when you start developing an application for a specific container, such as Ning, Hi5, or Orkut, you want to go somewhere where you can ask specific questions about that container. In the Open Social Developers Forum, you'll find links to all of these other forums where you can find more specific help. For example, the Orkut Developers Forum has information about what features are currently working on the sandbox, and you can have discussions about tips and tricks for making your application integrate well with the Orkut. We also have an open source project on Google Code Hosting. We started this project just as a place to store some sample code that we were using in our tutorials. But Google Code Hosting really provides a lot of great features that we decided to use to help support developers like you. We're using the wiki to host little code snippets that you can copy and paste right into your application. There's also information about events that we host here at Google for application developers to come and meet the team. Another cool feature of Google Code Hosting is the issue tracker. This is a public repository where you can file any bugs you find or submit feature requests if you want to see something new in the API. One of the great features of this is the ability to star issues that you think are important. If I click on this star in the upper left-hand corner, it'll let me receive any updates or comments that are made on this bug, so I'll know when it's fixed. Also, the issues are sorted by the number of stars that people have added, so that we can prioritize and fix the most important issues first. If you're coding and you need an answer fast, your best bet is to sign on to the IRC channel. It's on Freenode, and it's called Open Social. There's developers from all over the world on this channel so whatever the hour is, you'll be able to find someone to discuss your problem. That pretty much sums up the resources you have as a developer to get information on Open Social or to get any of your questions answered. If you're just starting with Open Social, I suggest you join the Developers Forum. You'll find all the links I've talked about today and lots of developers willing to help you get started.